Okay, so I've got my two PIR sensors in this little holder on the gate. Um, and so I'm hoping this works. There's the uh, Arduino controlling it. And uh, you see that uh, leftmost LED, that's going to tell us the state right now. But if I go below, we can see I've got a mast off a little bit. Um, that LED is still on, so if I run my hand across here, I don't get any false triggers, and I'll do the same thing over here, so I don't get any state changes. Okay, and I'm going to trigger uh, this guy first. So if we treat my hand like a little mouse down here. Okay, so we saw it changed. Okay, and now there would be a covering on that hole down there at the bottom of this, right? So the mouse would have to get through here. And then so I'll have my hand work as a mouse over here. And we'll see this state change. Is it... Okay, my, my hand is moving slowly towards... And there, it, it tripped right there. So even a little bit before the gate. And uh, yeah, so if um, this kind of relies on the fact that there would be another gate over here that they cannot backtrack through. Um, and they shouldn't even try much after training, right? They'll be, I think they'll figure this out pretty quick. And so um, oh, I have one of these Arduinos. I should have enough digital pins, right? It's just two digital pins uh, to power one set down here as well. So I will need an Arduino Nano and like the 15, 20 lines of code for this. Um, uh, per, per set of tracks, one on top, one on bottom.